Dementia is a cognitive disorder affecting an estimated 35 million people. Cases are doubling each year. But more worrying is the fact that most general practitioners miss 90% of mild cases. In 1993, we did a survey of general practitioners in response to comments from carers that they weren't getting a diagnosis. And we asked the GPs what were the problems they were experiencing in making a diagnosis of dementia. They gave us several responses. And one of them was, there wasn't a tool that was quick and easy to use that fitted into usual general practice. Professor Henry Bradati and his team have developed an online tool that eliminates much of the guesswork. Called the General Practitioner Assessment of Cognition, or GPCOG, it provides a standard platform for dementia screening. It includes a scoring system that helps GPs decide if further investigation is required. The test involves about up to four minutes of cognitive testing. Then they get a score out of nine. If the patient scores nine out of nine, that's a perfect score, that's fine, come back next year. If the person scores less than five out of nine, that's a score for concern and further testing for probable dementia needs to occur. For patients who have intermediate scores, we recommend that GPs ask an informant some questions about the patient's performance in recent times compared to five to ten years ago. An informant is someone who knows the patient well, usually a spouse who's living with them or a child who sees them on a day-to-day -day basis or several times during the week. And so depending on the score of that, if the person scores uh, four out of six or five or six out of six, then that's probably okay, come back again in a year. If they score less than four out of six, then that's significant and investigations for possible dementia should follow. The test was designed specifically to cater to a standard GP consultation time and is augmented with a host of online resources. I think more and more doctors are using the web uh, to help them with the diagnosis and management. Nearly all GPs have a computer on their desk and most of them are linked to the web. So it's inevitably the way of the future.